okay this is the the draper we've seen that already in the other video we've not seen this yet this is the aquamate it's used in fish tanks um you know it's fungicide free and so on and so forth um it's it's good enough stuff and it's sunday the 19th of february of the day i got a, an email for justin um, he's in America and we're both trying to figure out what other materials are available and he highlighted that uh, You know this this roofing flex with a liquid rubber basically might be an, an ideal material Well, you know, it's it's just one of these things But some other people here were doing work, you know in one of the other properties and I've been walking past this tin all week and it's you know after sort of emailing Justin back saying well I it might be a you know a definite thing to look at it dawned on me that there was a tin of this sitting down the stairs on top of the on top of a pile of old building materials that's to be dumped so anyway quite a fortuitous find but I've uh, went down and got it and there's not a lot in the bottom yet there's a small amount in the bottom but it's enough to do this job and I've decided that you know, if, if I'm going to be doing a test and it's taking a few weeks to do each test, I'm as well splitting the, you know, these these materials up and doing some on some of the plates and some on the other, and we'll get a, an overall view. This red sealant is pretty difficult to put on. It kind of bunches up and and you know it's it's just quite a messy job as you can see there. It just turns out fairly messy. But it, it does stop the flux leakage. Again with this though, I found when I was this is when I put it in Coca-Cola, you know, which is only only 0.4 on the pH scale. It kinda loosened up quite a bit. And it stayed just a wee bit. I think I think in KOH it's not gonna really cut the cut the ice if you know what I mean. So hence I went and got this because I had this lying about so I thought well I'll try this and uh, again it's it's quite difficult to put on but you know it, it does the job and it, it insulates and doesn't allow the the current to pass and this one is okay in the coca-cola when it was soaked in cola for a couple of days it doesn't seem to have affected it at all so it's just a case of what's available to you and then this morning I got that email from Justin talking about this type of material, this uh, liquid rubber and like I say that was lying down the stairs for it to be dumped so quite fortuitous anyway I went down and got some of that and I've uh, put it on some of the other plates and as we can see here I've uh, applied it the difference with this is the curing time you know you're talking 24 hours for it to cure it's easy to apply much easier than these two much easier <clears throat> okay I've put some out here and as you can see it's it's black it smells like a tar base you know it's got that sort of tar base smell of it um, but that's irrelevant that will just to be keeping it flow um, I've cleaned the plate off and um, we can see we've got nice clean holes there now I've went and done one and you know it's actually fairly easy compared with all the other stuff for application and I'm quite sure it could be done with a brush but what I have here at the moment is my small spatula put it on there and this is just at the moment to check the drying times and whether or not it'll pass an electric current when it's dry because obviously we need it to act like an insulator see I mean that's went on there I don't know if you can see it in the light but fairly easily I mean that RTV was very difficult to put on you just couldn't stop it lumping up and it's quite important to get a thin coating on here obviously That's actually okay, I'm going to do another hole here. I'll try and get this camera to maybe. 
us a bit better. Still, the proof is in the testing, isn't it? Isoflex technical data sheet. Um, the advantages, unlike traditional weatherproofing products, Isotech liquid rubber does not embrittle with either age or exposure to ultraviolet rays and sunlight. Its elasticity will continue to take up high degrees of substrate and thermal movement. Cracking and crazing are eliminated. Interesting. Um, it's applicable to any any surface basically, uh, which I think would include stainless steel. Let's have a look. Now, again technical data, expansion, cracking, liable to movement. Um, it basically goes on to tell you, clean surrounding surfaces, yada yada yada. Um, rubber flush, apply a coating of liquid rubber whilst uh, wet. 30 centimeter wide strips of reinforcing woven fabric uh, scrim material overlapping where necessary to avoid any bubbles so it can be reinforced basically uh, as far as I can read here the, the, the isoflex can you know expand five times greater than any of its competitors uh, which is quite a, a good bit of flexibility in it you know but no expand that's the wrong word it can um, it's got enough elasticity to move five times greater but you'd need to know what the the baseline on that was but I think it would be enough to, to do your expansion ratios in stainless steel anyway it feels the application uh, let me hear you do this yeah that's that's pretty cool I was wondering um, if it was designed only to, to adhere to porous materials but fields the application Isoflex liquid rubber waterproofing systems is designed to enable to the membrane to adhere to any practical, uh, practically any type of material providing it is correctly prepared. This includes roofing, felt, asphalt, slates, tiles, asbestos, wood, glass, so it will adhere to a, a fine non-porous material. Copper, lead, you know, that, that's, that's fine. It, it pretty much covers the... the, the the application that's required um, and you can even reinforce it if you have the room but you could possibly reinforce it with the, the, the vinyl this is the applications and there's ferrous and non-ferrous metals and basically all it's stating in these is to if there is rust present to remove any rust and to make sure it's thoroughly cleaned um, they're saying to use the special primer, but you know when we're dealing with stainless steel 316, we've, we've not got this rust problem. Um, they're saying their airless spray application, second coats, any second coats allow 24 hours, allow more than 24 hours elapse after the touch and dry storage of the first coat. Uh, there it's there, touch and dry storage of the first coat, allow 24 hours. So. You know, it's, it's fairly safe to say, even if it's... Because some, some materials, if you get a coating, you've got to do it while it's still tacky. Uh, this one, you, you can actually put a second coating on while it's dry, so that's quite important. Um, because, you, you know, you're going to do some flux leakage testing, and you may find that there's small holidays, and you want to put a small patch on here a bit, where it's maybe still leaking flux. So, this will definitely be able to, to be done with this, without any major problems, you will be able to make small patches where you find any flux leakage. Yeah, it's saying there that it can be repaired, so it will adhere to the older stuff, the new stuff will adhere to the older, without any any major problems. Okay, um, <clears throat> I've got some stuff here that i done. It's now 12.45, this was done at 11 o'clock. Now can we see there that that's still 
It's not runny, but it's it's certainly not certainly not cured. Uh, let me just let me just show you here, guys. Um, now that's quite thickly applied. I can see there that it's. You know, it's got a, a coating on the skin, but it's no cured. Whereas, the, the remember the thin layer applied? That is just tacky. You can see there. It's leaving a fingerprint on it. But it's just tacky. Now, okay, it's, uh, oh, hang on. Okay, it's, uh, 15.30 so that's four and a half hours that it's been on there um, the thicker is still tacky actually if we can just see that of a I mean it's got a skin on it but you can see it's still tacky whereas this one the thinner layer I can feel it's slightly sticky you know what I mean but um it's not as tacky as it was the last time I looked at it. So that's four and a half hours curing. Seemingly as far as I can read in the technical data sheet, you're looking at a seven day curing time. But uh, a 24 hour work time, like it's going to have a, a skin on it in 24 hours. But that is dependent, again, on how thick you're applying it. They don't really give you any kind of any kind of sort of, nothing you can work on, so they're not saying if you put it in it half an inch thick or 10 mil thick, it will take so long. It's uh, a long as a bit of string as far as they're concerned. So it's a case of trial and error. But you don't want it thick anyway, not around your holes because, you know, you've got your gasket space and to work between and that's it. So I'm going to leave this to cure for 24 hours. But even if it takes seven days to cure, let's be honest. If this goes on and you don't need to look at it again, even between surface life, say 12 months, say for instance, I'd be more than happy with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, providing it does the job, it's worthwhile at this stage to just give it some time and do the job right. So, I'm going to pick the video up today and uh, we'll see what happens in, in the future sort of thing with it but it's going to be a trial and error job that's for sure I need to see how long these take to cure I'm probably going to give them when they're, when they're done I'm probably going to give them the full seven days to be honest um, actually on the plates you know what I mean but uh, on this piece of material and I've made myself a few other um, test sample pieces you know uh, I've done a few washers so I can actually at the end of the day I can go and put them into hot water and things like that and just see how they fare uh, they're a bit stuck on there at the moment I've got the other side to do but uh, I'll be able to pop them into boiling water and various things of that nature and we'll just, oh look at that, it's well stuck and we'll just see how they do and with this one I've only got the inside of the, the hole just at the bore done I've got a few other samples kicking about so if you're going to be testing this, get yourself some washers and do some samples that you can stick in cups of hot water and things of that nature and into cola and into some KOH, KOH so you can actually see how it fares and I'll leave a couple of them in the the KOH and the cola and things for a few days but well that's that's uh, 15.30 and that's touch dry you know so anyway okay